Hello, this is Nicholas from Dandelion Dreams Permaculture. I wanted to do a foreword before I got into the actual uh, killing of the rabbits. I just wanted to take a quick moment to first warn the viewers that uh, I'm going to mainly kill a couple rabbits in this video, and if that's not something you want to see, then you know this would be a good time to not watch it. I also you know, wanted to just talk and say that the reason that we do things like kill rabbits is that it's important to us here at our farm and in our family that we raise and uh, humanely butcher our own meat as a sign of respect. So without further ado, I will get to the actual killing of the rabbits and how we do it. This is my uh, cervical dislocation tool I built. It's based on a lot of other ones that exist. It's uh, basically just a piece of angle iron that I welded a piece of rebar to. All right, so first you take the head and you just stick it right there in the little crotch of it and then grab the back legs and pull straight up. Put more force than you need just to make sure until you hear the pop. I always check the eyes afterwards because that's the first uh, response to go. The second method is using a, it's called a broomstick method and it's basically just a broomstick or this is an extension for like a paint roller. So you take the rabbit, you take the broomstick, you stick it right on the back of its neck and then carefully put its paws up onto the broomstick itself. You step on the one side to help. It's easier with a friend. I'll grab the back legs and then pull straight up. Again, you'll hear that pop. And then again, you check the eyes to make sure it's uh, dead. So that's how I dispatch my rabbits. Um, you know, in our culture today, we don't grow up uh, killing our own meat. So for some people coming into this homesteading world uh, Even killing a small rabbit can be a difficult thing for people So, you know if it is that's okay. Like it's something that uh, Is a skill that needs to be practiced and worked on uh, For us to do it uh, When I started I first met my wife she wasn't a big fan of killing stuff and we started off with her roosters uh, she had 17 of them and then we've slowly worked up to butchering more and more animals uh, as time's gone on so I want to give a little encouragement to people that do struggle with you know raising an animal caring for it and then having to uh, dispatch it it's not always the easiest thing to do but I feel that it is something that helps enrich our life, not in the killing itself, but in the fact that we're, you know, producing meat that we know was treated humanely to begin with, and then being able to actually feed and uh, care for ourselves. So, thank you for watching. I understand that, you know, it could have been hard for some people, but... Um, I appreciate that you did watch it, and I appreciate that you guys are making an effort towards uh, raising your own meat. So, again, thank you. Uh, please feel free. Matter of fact, I'd love it if you would. You know, follow our page, like our stuff, follow our YouTube page. I'm, you know, trying to add more and more videos. If you guys have questions or things you'd like me to answer I'd love to do some uh, videos answering those questions so thanks again